Hey guys, I'm Azadeh. I want to investigate what makes Kylie so appealing. She has over 130 million Instagram followers. That's more than the population of Japan. Kylie is one of the most influential people in the entire beauty industry. And something she's definitely known for is changing up her hair. This week, I want to take a deep dive into the evolution of Kylie's hair. I'm going to go over a timeline of her most iconic looks, talk about some of the headlines that she's made, speak with an expert to learn everything there is to know about wigs, and then finally, I'm going to try one on for myself. Kylie has mentioned that constantly changing up her hair gives her a sense of confidence. Let's see if I gain the same sense of confidence that Kylie's talking about. Kylie, this is my life right now. I've gone over hundreds of pictures of Kylie throughout like the last 10 years pretty much to pull out my favorite looks and show them all to you guys on my Kypad. Kylie Kristen Jenner was born on August 10th, 1997 to Kris and Caitlyn Jenner. Here she is in 2007 at the premiere of Keeping Up With The Kardashians. Here we have her two years later rocking some blimp bangs. Then we get into her punk moment. September of 2011, Kylie walked in Avril Lavigne's fashion show Abby Dawn. She was 14 years old and the reason she got to is because Avril was dating her half-brother Brody Jenner. Fast forward another couple years and Kylie is 16 years old. Her hair was long and she had some light tips. She has that like signature sexy Kardashian wave going on. And here she is at the MTV Movie Awards looking like a little mini cam. <gasps> Significant hair moment. This is January 2014 and always the little rebellious sister, she cut her hair. Did you ever see a Kardashian with short hair? Um, no. Finally in May, Kylie 2.0. Significant hair moment. She was rocking that blue ombre bob at the Billboard Music Awards. This is the hair that she wore to Kim and Kanye's wedding and Kim was so against it. But did Kylie listen? No, because Kylie does what Kylie likes. But Kylie still doesn't really have her business. Kim had her magazine covers, Kendall was modeling, Rob had his socks. Don't know what happened to that. In October of that year, Kylie did a collaboration with Bellamy Hair, Kylie Hair Couture. But it was really in 2015 that we saw Kylie start changing up her hair. And we can start with her Coachella looks. She had this long blue hair going on. She rocked this cute pink hair. And then she also had this gray hair which she wore in cornrows. This got her into trouble for cultural appropriation. Her and her sisters have been called out for cultural appropriation multiple times. Specifically when they've worn cornrows and then incorrectly referred to them as boxer braids or in Kylie's case, birthday braids, completely ignoring the African origin. We had even more looks. The ice blue, the mint green. Side note, this is the wig that was snatched off her head as her and Tyga were leaving a Chris Brown concert. We had the emerald green. <gasps> Significant hair moment. This was on November 30th, 2015. That is the day Kylie Lip Kits first launched. And we also had this honey blonde hair. Notice in the background of this picture, these mannequin heads. It is pretty well known that she has a whole room dedicated to her wigs. After dyeing her hair so many colors, it just got so damaged that she couldn't handle it anymore. The reason Kylie's wigs look so good is because of her super talented hairstylist, Tokyo Styles. But anyone who says that Kylie started wigs is wrong. Wigs have been around for centuries, dating all the way back to the ancient Egyptians. And black women wearing wigs has been part of the American culture for decades. So it's clear that Kylie didn't start wigs. Um, Little Kim's crush on you video, but she's definitely the first one in her family to do so. Over the last three years, we've seen Kylie go through so many fun looks. Platinum blonde, the bob. Oh. It's actually the one mine is modeled after, but I'm not sure if this is a wig or it's her real hair. Kylie is showing her baby hairs here, and the rest of the sisters don't. Kim had hers lasered off, and she said how much she regrets it, but Kylie rocks those baby hairs, even in her updos. Ponytails, pink hair, comic blue hair, and we have short platinum bob. This was her look at the 2017 Met Gala, where she was wearing Versace. They had to call Donatella to see what color Kylie's hair should be, and of course Donatella was like a platinum blonde because hello, Versace, that's her signature look. They decided last minute to cut it into a short bob and she looks so cute. We also have this long orangey hair and we have this highlighter hair. And then we have her 21st birthday look, platinum Barbie blonde. I have a lot of questions for Kylie. I just think I need to ask an expert. Hey guys, 
I just found my hair expert. Her name is Antoinette Hill. She's been doing hair for 20 years and she's been doing wigs specifically for 15 years. I just got off the phone with her. I asked her tons of questions about the price of wigs and it's a lot. It's a lot more than I thought it was gonna be. So a wig starts at $700, but that's just for the wig itself, like a long human hair wig. Oh, and human hair is the best quality. I'm gonna go ahead and take a guess. That's what Kylie uses. So you have your $700 wig, but then you wanna add, you know, a cut and a color and a style, which we know Kylie does because she has long ones and short ones and all kinds of colors. That's about another $700. That's $1,400 right there. Oh, but that's not all. You have to get a closure. And a closure is what attaches the wig to the head, and that's about $400. Altogether, that's $1,800. I'm meeting with Antoinette soon. She's going to measure my head. Can't wait. The application. Antoinette is a celebrity hairstylist, and she does tons of celebrities' hair, including Cardi B and Remy Ma and the Simmons sisters. I mean, the list goes on and on. So I have never done anything to my hair color wise. Okay. I'm nervous, but I'm excited at the same time. Talk to me about what you're looking for today. Something a little bit outside of my comfort zone. Mm. I'm going to grab a tape measure and we're going to get this process going. The first measurement we're going to do is your circumference, which is the perimeter around your head, front to back to the nape of the neck, nape of the neck, one end of the neck to the other side. And the last measurement, the hairline from ear to ear across the forehead. So what are the different kinds of wigs? The first wig we can talk about is a wig with a frontal. It does mimic the natural hairline. It's very versatile. You can wear it parted in many different areas. The next option is a wig with a closure. Those wigs are easy because you can take them off and put them on as you like. Another option could be a U-part wig, and you can place this at any point over the head and your natural hair is placed over it. <gasps> oh my God. <laughs> this is a rough draft of what it would look like. This quality is so nice. Where's this from? The most popular are Brazilian hair, Indian hair, and there's Malaysian hair. This hair is actually Brazilian hair. Kylie shows her baby hairs. I definitely have a lot of baby hairs. Yes, you do. The best way for you to wear your own baby hairs would be to get a closure. Oh, I'm so excited. Yes. So the next step that we would need to do is braid your hair down. I am going to section out your baby hairs and I'm basically doing a corn braid so that the top of your head lays flat so that the wig lays seamlessly. Mm -hmm. And I decided to do two braids for you just because it would be easier for you to recreate this by yourself. So as you can see, the top of your hair is flat. So I've chosen a wig cap for you to wear. It is the color of your complexion and you leave out the baby hairs. I had someone pull the perfect Kylie inspired wig for you, but I need you to close your eyes and just trust me. Relying on all my other senses now. I am gonna place the wig on you and then reveal to you after. I've been living with this for the past week. I understand what Kylie means when she says this gives you confidence. I embrace my inner Kylie and just my inner badass. Like I look at myself in the mirror, I'm like, ooh, this girl is fun. <laughs> Going forward, I definitely want to wear this wig more. It's kind of a fun form of self-expression and such a fun, easier way to, you know, play with my hair and play with my personality and let it shine. And it's not even permanent because I can just take it off and put it on. So the most valuable thing that I've taken away from this past week is that I can and I should totally rock my natural hair because I grew up around all little blonde girls with straight hair. So at a young age, I started straightening it because I wanted to fit in. And now after years, there's so much heat damage to it. But this week I realized if I can wear blue hair, then I can totally wear my natural hair and embrace it and be myself. It's been such a fun week. I've learned so much and I cannot wait for what's next.